It's time for Over There with Morella Rostroffer. Morella is our European correspondent. She joins us weekly. She is once again in chocolate land uh, with stories from who knows where. Hi, Morella. How are you? And please tell us from where. Yes. Hi, Jill. Very well. Thank you so much. Yes, from uh, chocolate land. Uh, very sweet nickname. Um, we are going to continue talking about France um, because, as you know, uh, the presidentials uh, in France are going to be in 2022. And now all the candidates are being chosen by their uh, parties. And um, and so the landscape is getting uh, a little bit uh, clearer. Um why is uh, that uh, a topic I come back to? It's because um, I talked to you already about um, a surprise candidate called uh, Eric Zemmour uh, that is on the very right spectrum of the uh, political scene um, and um, and has been a little bit uh, the, the, the surprise uh, um, popular candidate so far. Um, and I thought it would be very worth it to uh, talk about another candidate who actually has a, a very good uh, chance um, to run against uh, uh, President Macron. And that is Valérie Pécresse. And that's interesting on many levels. She is the candidate for the party called... <coughs> Sorry. It's okay called Les Républicains. Um, if you remember, this is uh, also the party of, um, of um, former President uh, Sarkozy. Um, she is interesting, um, as I said, because of different factors. Uh, she's 54. Um, this, is, uh, this is actually um, a trend that we are seeing in Europe. Uh, where the leaders um, um, are uh, chosen um, a little bit younger as they were in the past. And I think this is due to the fact that they have a better um, connection maybe with uh, um, younger generations. She's uh, a woman, which um, should not be something surprising, but still he's a little. Um, as it is definitely more difficult to be chosen as a woman uh, than than a man. Um, she's um, she grew up in uh, in a very um, privileged uh, home, and she knows that. That's why she also addressed that uh, immediately in in uh, her first official uh, official speech where uh, she says that while she was born in a very loving family, um, surrounded by books, had also the chance of uh, being able to uh, pursue very successful studies. Um, she was also taught very early on, according her, uh, from her parents and teachers and professors that when you uh, receive a lot you also must give a lot back. And that's um, a little bit her motto. That being said, she also says that um, being there for her was never really easy and that she had to fight to uh, get uh, to the positions she got to. And uh, I think one can really believe that. As it is, uh, it was in the past definitely uh, harder for um, for a woman to be um, to be taken seriously. Um, she, um, she she also uh, wanted in her first speech to talk a little bit about the the issues that uh, she was going to uh, to fight. Um, being uh, from les Republi les Républicains, which is um, uh, it's it's a right party, but it is not an extreme right party. It's more, let's say, a center right uh, party. Uh, the program, though, uh, still um, 
uh, has some similarities with uh, with other uh, programs on uh, the on, on the right side of uh, of the political scene. Um, with that, uh, I mean specifically stopping illegal immigration. That is basically on every pro political program because it's something that upset um, a large part of the population and there is basically uh, almost no way to, um, to, to not have to uh, face uh, this topic. Uh, she also says she would break the ghettos. With break, I don't really know what she means. This is a a term that is a little bit unclear, uh, but um, I, I assume that she just wants to try to um, include the people that are in uh, these so-called ghettos in the in the society and try to repair a little bit this uh, very strong. Uh, separations uh, in uh, in society. She also wants to fight the race of Islam. This is in France an extremely delicate subject and it is also always uh, on the program of uh, all uh, politicians. Um, her goal is to defend France history, is uh, the heritage, uh, the, the lifestyle, um, and she wants to share the love for France history with uh, with everybody in France. That also include reforming uh, the schools, uh, the justice system, uh, healthcare, um, and wanting also to defend uh, fairness, the ethics of uh, of work. And um, and also addressing the social inequities. Um, it I have to say this is all very broad, and this is also something that one has heard before. And one this was also only the first speech, so one cannot expect that she goes immediately into the details of um, of how she would actually concretely tackle all of this, uh, these issues, but I expect that um, in the next few months, things are going to become uh, definitely a little bit more precise. She also tried to, in her speech, to be um, um, talking against Macron. Obviously, uh, they are, um, you know, she's running against him. Um, what she basically reproach him is the fact that um, she thinks, as she says in her words, that Macron sacrificed the, the, the future for the present, uh, but that her intent will be to reform the present in order to not forget the future. In other terms, she thinks that Macron is not doing much. Uh, and that this is going to uh, have uh, immense uh, consequences on the future. And her stance on that is that she wants to act and she wants to really show some action in the present in order to be able to, um, to in a way, direct, uh, direct the future. Um, According to the last polls, and that's what's really interesting, she is um, very popular. It's probably due to the fact that, uh, um, as we know, a certain charisma is uh, always very um, um, beneficial to politicians, and she definitely has that. She um, has um, this kind of presence that um, attract attention, and I would say the same way that President Macron has also this uh, an, in, in, in a, another form, obviously, but also a kind of charisma and is still um, very short, very um, close, sorry, to um, the, the elections, uh, I think has an approval rate of 44 percent, which is really very high. Um, in uh, considering the, the, the times we are going through right now. Um, 
she seems to be um, definitely right behind him in uh, in terms of popularity. Uh, but again, one will have, of course, to see um, what kind of uh, program in details um, she is thinking about. Uh, one will have also to see how the socialist party with Anne Hidal Hidalgo, who is right now the mayor of Paris since 2014, how um, all of these people are going to position themselves. Let's not forget also about Marine Le Pen, who is almost in direct confrontation, direct confrontation with Eric Zemmour, um, both uh, very right. Um, and we will, of course, see how all of these parties uh, find a little bit their balance and their way now that the candidates are being chosen and that they will be able to begin um, their uh, campaigns um, around uh, around France. Um, this is obviously also a very important choice for the European Union, because let's not forget that um, Germany also uh, just went through uh, elections and chose a new chancellor after 16 years of uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel. Um, it's uh, it's a in very interesting balance that they found in Germany by having really uh, someone from the center, chosen from the center, but uh, uh, having allies directly on, on on the left with the Green Party and on the right with a business-friendly party. So that makes uh, things extremely balanced in Germany for the moment. Uh, we will have to see what route um, France decides to go. But considering that France and Germany are the two real, um, uh, uh, let's say, uh, forces the two big forces in uh, in in the Euro European Union, and considering all the um, very delicate situations that we are having right now with the Ukraine, with um, some countries of uh, East uh, Europe who um, um, are having also some uh, conflictual uh, situations. It is now more than ever necessary to have some uh, countries in the European Union that really bring stability and uh, and strength and um, are able to basically um, give trust to um, the continent, to the entire European continent. Thank you very much, Marilla Rostroffer, over there. My pleasure.